We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Woo. Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Cali's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Cali's world Hey friends, I'm hanging out with my good friend Chip today Hello! Chip and I are about to go pretend race car racing. Yeah! And this is a race car. Uh, Callie, it's a box. Huh? Look at it again, Chip. It may look a little like a box, but if you look at it from this angle, it's the fastest race car the world has ever seen. Or at least my house has ever seen. Oh, I see it now. Of course, it's a race car. Yeah, let's jump in. We ring. Okay, since I'm steering first, Chip, you tell me where to go. Oh, oh, okay. Let's count down to race time. Count with us. Three, two, one, go! Okay, okay, turn right. Now! Awesome! Okay, uh, uh, now turn left. Now! Okay, now straight ahead and... Stop! Oh, what was that? You didn't see that? No. What was it? There was a big ramp in the middle of the road. We can't go around it. We can't go through it. I don't know what to do. Oh, right. I see it now. Me neither. I think this is called an obstacle. That's like something that gets in the way. Yeah. And while we were waiting, all the other race cars are passing us by. This is a very big obstacle. Maybe your Bible story will help us with what to do. Let's see. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and 14. God's people, the Israelites, wandered a very long time and in the desert. God had a promised land for them to live in, and it was almost time for them to get there and for God's promises to come true. God told Moses to send a team to explore the promised land, which was called Canaan. The team explored Canaan for 40 days. When they came back, they reported good news first. The land was flowing with milk and honey and it definitely had fruit. They showed everyone grapes, pomegranates, and figs they picked. The team started to give the not so good news. There were people who lived in Canaan who were very big and powerful. They had very large cities and very big walls. One man named Caleb spoke up and said, we can do it. We can take over the land. But the other explorers were afraid. So Caleb and another brave explorer named Joshua got everyone's attention and said that the promised land is a wonderful land that God was giving them. They didn't need to be afraid. God was with them. Going against the people in Canaan seemed like a huge obstacle for the Israelites. But Caleb and Joshua reminded everyone that God is bigger than any obstacle. The same thing goes for us. Sometimes things seem too big for us, but we can know that obstacles are no problem for God. Whoa! I bet they felt like we did when we imagined this ramp in the middle of the road. Yeah! Hmm, I wonder. Caleb knew that God would be with them wherever they went. Wait, Chip! I think God will be with us when we pretend race car driving too! Oh, yes! I think God will! And that will help us get through any ob... obsta... Obstacle? Right, obstacle! I was thinking, Callie... First, we have the obstacle of our race car being a box. We used our imagination to get past that. God gave us our imagination. I think, with God's help, we can get through this next obstacle, too. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's race! Here comes that big ramp. Whoa! Are you seeing what I am? What? It's an arrow pointing towards the ramp. I think we're supposed to jump it. Really? Are you sure? Let's do it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yay! We made it! The finish line! Woohoo! That was fun! Pretending to drive a race car is cool! Yeah, and it was awesome to remember that! 
Obstacles are no problem for God. What obstacles are you facing, friends? Whatever it is, God is with you. And God is bigger than the problem in front of you. Thanks for learning and growing with me and Chip. Bye! Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.